Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and I'm a real estate agent here in Connecticut. If you're into all things real estate, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss a new video from me. Today I'm doing something different. I'm doing a office tour of all the things that I have in my office, what it looks like, what I keep in here. And honestly, everything is going wrong today. It's just one of those Mondays and I just wanted a chill, kind of relax, not too serious vlog or little video so I can just kind of have a little fun and forget about all the things that are literally blowing up right now. Okay, so let's start. So on this side of the office, we have my computer here and so the keyboard and the mouse and everything has to be hooked up with this little charger here when it does die out. So I just have this here for easy access. I have just your typical notepad for any notes I have to take when I have a phone call. This right here is kind of funny. It's like a little stand for my phone. So if I'm watching a video or I'm making a phone call, I don't want to hold the phone. This is my little beanie baby little phone holder. So. It's kind of corny, but it works and does the job, so. So right over here, I have my Amazon, what is this thing called? Echo. The Echo Dot thingamajig. I don't use it that often, um, but if I want to listen to music, I'd, I'd use that. Some tissues, this is another phone holder and also charges the phone. So this is another great thing if I am looking to use my phone, but charge at the same time, watch a video, um, and it does charge it, so. That's helpful, and I have my earbuds here. A couple of rings, this is a real thing, so it's like, this is not exactly how I'd like it to look, but this is just real, so I have random stuff everywhere, like an SD card, you know, what are you gonna do? Candle, I have my phone right here. I have my planner, and I do like to write things down, and have a hard copy of my planner, but sometimes I do, write things into my iPad and kind of do it that way. But I still like to also have a written copy, hard copy of my planner. So I still have that right there. And this right here is my completely not functional, not comfortable chair, but it looks cute. So here it is. <laughs> right down here, I have my puppy. <laughs> she likes to be the center of attention and she just needs all of my attention all the time. So, yep, there she is making her appearance. She has to be in this video. So right here I have this cute mug that I decided to use to hold stuff, apparently. So this Home Sweet Home, I got this from, let's see, where did I get this from? TJ Maxx, I thought it was cute. I thought I can give it to clients, but apparently I want to keep it. So <laughs> I'm just holding some stuff in here. Um, Kind of spur the moment, oh hey, I can put some stuff in here, so that's what I did. And I also have a stapler here. I have my calculator, just a basic calculator when I have to, you know, add things up real quickly with a contract, things like that. I have some scripts under here. We're doing the locker room training with my brokerage, so we have scripts here. Um, we did a boofy. <laughs> We did a Buffini training. Um, we do a lot of training with our brokerage, so I have like, a lot of the handbooks here. And then I have a random mason jar which had a bunch of paper clips in it, but we're kind of running low. Then I have my little pink Himalayan salt lamp there, but it's pushed back because Maggie keeps going over there and pushing it back. So over here, what is this called, Jason? This UPS. UPS, what is that? <laughs> Uninterrupted power supply or universal power supply. Okay, so what does it do and why do you think people should have this? It's a backup and it's a surge protector so that your electronics have some protection. Right. So that's what's there and now she's getting a little bit upset. So that's this side here. I just have my lamp and we can go over here to this side, so you're gonna have to come a little closer. We'll start on top here. This is honestly just a bunch of random stuff. Um, I, I have nothing to say, it's just random stuff. So down here, 
I keep some extra envelopes. I keep my camera. It's kind of like electronics in here, um, a lot of it. So I keep some stuff there. And I got these bins so it just contains more and it doesn't look so messy. So down here I have some like office supplies. It's honestly a disaster and I'm just gonna admit it. Down here is my newest little creation here. I started, let's see, kind of like a note card thing. So these are my, my note cards here. So I get all my note cards from Note Card Cafe. So there's a bunch of different like styles that you could do. So like this right here is one style. I have my card right there, so it's pretty cool. So when I do mailers, when I sell a home, I like to send letters to the surrounding areas saying I just sold your neighbor's home and it's worked a couple times. So I think it's really worth it. So I always have a stack of cards and then I bring them to, if I'm doing a lot, I bring them to the office and we have a handwriting machine and I just tell my broker what I want it to say and he'll write it with the handwriting machine. You just walk away and it does a hundred over a period of time. You don't have to be watching it. So it's pretty cool. So I keep those envelopes. I keep a stack of those. So that's that. And I also keep some, like say it's like the home anniversary. So this one says welcome home anniversary. So this one says welcome home anniversary. It's also from No Card Cafe. So I thought I'd get some of these for when um, my clients have a certain anniversary of owning their home and I could send that to them. So what I also have is obviously stamps because you always need stamps on hand when you're doing your mailers. And let's not put that there because she's going to chew them. And this I got from Amazon. So when I have a closing for my clients, I like to write them a little note and give that with their gift. So this was, I bought this on Amazon. It's a bunch of cards that say like, congratulations uh, on your new home. There's different colors. We're really struggling here. So we have different, different ones in here. I think there's about five different ones, styles. Okay, that's that. There's 36 greeting cards. This is why I haven't put a video up. You see why? Because I can't do anything. All right, so apparently here I have a freaking Nintendo Switch, so that's that, chew it. I have these as well. I order these from Market Dwelling. So it says, hello, I'm not just a real estate agent, I'm also your neighbor. As a professional real estate agent and fellow neighbor, I know the real value of what our neighborhood offers. I love to offer my services and resources to you whenever you're looking to buy or sell a home. Call me for a free home valuation or if you're just needing a cup of sugar. So you put your little card in here and you can put them on their doorknob or whatever. Here I have a whole box of my business cards. Right here are my cards if you are interested in a certain style or whatever. Um, so I had a box of a thousand. I probably have maybe a quarter of those now, a little over. So down here I have just random stuff. Also I have like labels for the cards if I wanna do labels, things like that, some extra boxes for electronics. Um, over here it's just like a lot of craft stuff. So if I wanna make a gift or, I was always big into crafts so I have, you know, some of them in here. It's just so much to go through. So there's like stickers, um, paint, just different things like that. Down here is actually this interesting little stamp, like seal thing for cards, um, like old school type thing. Um, it's like when you melt the wax and then you press, you melt the wax, you pour it over where you want it to seal, and then you will do... Otherwise called a wax seal. Thanks, Jason. And then you would just put it on and it would melt, it would harden the wax to seal that, the envelope or whatever. So, that's just a fun thing I could do with cards. Um, just to spice them up a little. Totally not necessary, but 
Jason like to, likes to buy unnecessary things sometimes. Um, in here, I just have more electronic stuff. Nothing worth noting. It's just kind of storage. Um, right here, obviously I have my tripod, my bigger tripod. And I have light right here for filming videos when I need that extra light. Um, I usually like to film with natural light. But if it's dark and I have to do something, then I'll use this. So this was on Amazon. So that's kind of like what it looks like. And you know how much this was, Jason? Don't remember. So that's just one of them. I have a couple of them, but honestly, it just gets to be too much in the room. Um, it's kind of small. So right over on this side of the wall, I have a little bed for Maggie. She has so many around the house, but we just have one in there. Usually she doesn't sleep in there. She sleeps somewhere where it's unconventional and where she's not supposed to sleep, but we'll give her the opportunity to be a good girl. Look at her now. This is what I have to deal with. What are you doing, Maggie? All right, so on this wall here, it's back to our scheduled programming here. I have just a full length mirror here. I have one in my bedroom, but if Jason's sleeping, I don't want to turn the light on. I can see my outfits here, do outfit of the days, things like that. So I definitely wanted um, another full length mirror. I forgot on top here, this was actually, this bookshelf was actually here, right from the previous owners. Um, so it's pretty rustic. What They have like a flower or plants on top here, which would be ideal because like you see how many windows are in here. It's good for that. Um, but this is all like copper on top and I just thought it'd be interesting to reuse and kind of repurpose this and it fit perfectly. It was made for this, this area right here. So I thought I'd, you know, use it to store my stuff too and keep it here. Um, but... Up here I have, like this is what the handwriting machine kind of looks like. So it writes a whole thing out here. So this one, you see the cards? This one says, hello, my name is Courtney with Dave Jones Realty. I'm writing to you today because I recently sold your neighbor's home at enter address. That's what I send people. And I just put my business card in here too so they can have something to hold on to. Um, I mean, the majority of people might throw this out but I like the handwritten cards because you know you're getting it in an envelope addressed to you it looks more like it's you know a card from someone you know so it's more likely that someone will open it. all right so I just got the phone with my lender so we went over a few things so we got one problem solved out of three today so things are looking up so those are the cards I showed you like I was saying when they're in like this format, I feel like they're more likely to be opened, opposed to like a postcard that looks really salesy. Sales so I do recommend doing something like this. Um, I think that the open rate is a lot higher. This right here is another workbook for the track training that I'm doing. Um, so I just have that there because we have activity trackers for the weeks, what you do during the weeks. Um, this, yeah, clearly I didn't fill it out yet, but that's what it's for. And I have, yeah, a bunch of just scrap paper that I've been working on some things with. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I have some weights down there, just random stuff I have. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to know where anything's from that I didn't mention, then leave it in the comments below. The rug. Oh, this is my rug. I got this from Amazon as well. That's that. So anyway, the desk. desk. Amazon as well. Amazon desk as well. Yep, the lamp, Amazon. Get get the, the hint here. A lot of things are from Amazon. So if you have to guess, it's probably from Amazon or Target. Yep, that's it. Okay, so like I said, let me know in the comments below um, what you have in your office. What are some must-haves that you have? What do you have set up in there that helps you be productive or what gets you through the day? Um, leave it down below. I'd love to hear about it. 
Thank you for watching and checking out my channel. Thank you for stopping by and watching my videos. I hope to see you next time. And if you want to stay on top of all my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a new video from me. See ya. Literally can't right now.